the player auctions website you will want to log in or sign up i already um have an account so i'm just gonna log in if you um, want to sign up then you would have to go through all of that and they will have to send you like a email verification thing and like you have to have an actual email to do that so i'm, I'm just gonna log in so when you're done creating your account um, to become a seller, you would have to start um, inputting your financial information. Um, it's how you like receive the money. Now, at first, I uh, chose bank because it's just direct and has no fee, and it's like directly uh, to and from your bank. But you have to put a lot of information, and like I, I really did not know half of um, where that info was to be found. So I just found out the. First option, the Didi Mala or whatever um, the company is, they, they do charge like a 50 cent fee, but the inputting the information is so much easier. You just get your um, bank information, your checking number, and your routing number, and it's basically it. Over here, you can um, select currency if you're selling some in game currency, um, items like, for example, if you want to sell something, um, an item you have on Roblox, um, you would click this account um, if you want to obviously just sell your account power leveling is basically getting a really high level um, in a character so for games that have that um, you would choose that for general like if you have like a, an account full of your favorite skins or something in Fortnite Valorant or whatever um, you would click this and then a uh, server um, live in the US so uh, US um, or whatever uh, where you live uh, price um, I would say around maybe half of how much you bought all the skins for. Now, obviously, like some skins, like limited edition skins, if you have like one of those um, from Valorant or Fortnite, you, um, you might want to charge extra for that. Um, but in general, if it's just like a random skin account that has just has a lot of skins, you can start by charging like. 75% of um, your whole catalog if you're not getting any offers maybe you will want to push that down and maybe people would just bargain with you if you have like a really high um, price after sale production basically means that your account that you have everything in would have a uh, security guarantee so basically you won't receive any money until like whatever day you choose because maybe the to let the customers know that you really are not trying to like scam them or anything because if you just log into your account after 14 days or 30 days or change the password or something you get the money and you have your account still that's kind of a scam so basically to limit this um i suggest just putting 30 days or 14 days just to make your account look more attractive um, to customers and make them trust you more delivery um, automatic delivery it's basically um, player auctions making everything and sending all your info to the customer and manual is you just typing it all out and if you are doing manual you have to click yes to all of these if you click no um, yeah you're not going to be able to sell your account um, it's just for the safety of the consumers um, you want them to like have full access to the account and like let's say you have an email address or something if you're the customer you don't want the owner to still have access to changing the password or something so i think that's why um, automatic delivery you'll have to answer all of these questions but i i think automatic is easier but i don't know it, it really depends on how you would want to do it now description is basically um where you type in uh, the description for your account so maybe your most wanted skins or your most wanted characters um, and here's I think this is the title and this is uh, the description you can also upload an image if you want the customers to see oh oh they actually have this skin or oh they actually have all the characters unlocked in this game or something um, yeah there's some tools and everything font um, Offer duration is basically um, how long you would want the offer to last, pretty self-explanatory. And then you just click that and create a new offer. 